Okay, um, we've got Steve Booker, Registrar and Political Director for IBEW Local 617. He's actually going to cover all of the unions tonight. All right, Steve. Good evening. My name is Stephen Booker. I'm a business representative for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 617. Uh, we represent 1,700 union electricians, sound and comm installers, and air train technicians. That's the people mover that's like barred out at the airport. Um, I also um, I'm sit on a committee, a steering committee for a trades introduction program that's a five month class at the College of San Mateo that covers um, a plethora of trades. It goes over a little electrical, a little plumbing, a little carpentry, so on and so forth. So um, if there's anyone that's interested in get, being in the building trades, I will be um, available outside after this panel discussion is over. So, but in the essence of time, I'm just gonna cover a little bit about, uh, electric, about being an electrician and how I, how I started my career. Um, like the previous electrician, I, I grew up in the Bay Area. I was born and raised in San Francisco. I went to Reardon High School. And um, upon graduation, I wanted to take a year off. I didn't want, uh, Reardon was a little, little strenuous, a little taxing. And my parents didn't, they wanted me to go to college, probably like everybody's parents, want you to go to college and be successful. So I couldn't live in my parents' house and not do what they wanted me to do. So I joined the military. I joined the United States Air Force. Traveled halfway around the world and back. I played soccer for the Air Force in Europe, so on and so forth, Desert Storm, Desert Shield Vet. And I realized that the Air Force wasn't, um, wasn't something that I wanted to do for a career. So I came back home and I started going to the College of San Mateo like many others. And I was um, taking administration of justice classes. I figured that just getting out the military, that would be a natural transition to be a police officer. As I'm taking these classes, I'm carpooling with a buddy of mine. And um, he's, he's encouraging me to take the test to become an electrician. And I'm arguing with him. I'm like, dude, I don't have any experience in that. I don't know anything about that. And he's telling me, you don't need any experience. You don't need to know anything about that. And he goes, that's why they don't pay you anything to start. And I was a little taken back because back in 1998, when I got started, they were starting us off at 12 bucks an hour with no experience. So fast forward to 2019. Um, I've been an electrician for a little over 20 years. Um, bare minimum qualifications to be an electrician is you have to be 18 or older, uh, have a C or better in algebra, and a valid driver's license. With those bare minimum qualifications, we start our first year electricians off at $22 an hour with full benefits. Um, you get a raise after your first year, which is like 2,000 hours, and our raises are increments of uh, 10%, so you'll go from like 22 to like 28 an hour, and then it's every nine months or 1,200 hours. Um, right now, a journeyman electrician in San Mateo County makes $63 an hour plus benefits. So those benefits include $16.50 an hour towards your pension, plus full medical, dental, and um, vision. So I don't, I don't have my slides in front of me like the rest of these uh, people on the panel. I'm not as prepared as they are. But um, so being an electrician, I, I got to tell you, it's one of the best things I've ever done as, besides serving my country. Um, I travel all over the nation as a, as a representative for the union. Um, I talk to people out at the airport. And like uh, Laura was saying, they're one of the largest employers. They employ a lot of electricians out there, too. Um, and right now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's a really good time to get in the building trades industry. There's, uh, if you drive up and down the peninsula, you'll see cranes and new buildings going up all the time. And there's this thing called attrition, which we have a lot of older individuals that are retiring. So there's a lack of skilled tradesmen and women in, the, um, in San Mateo County. So right now is a really good time to um, get, in the, get in the building trades industry and in the construction industry. Not to mention that, um, I don't know if Laurel knows this, but... Uh, San Francisco International Airport is going to uh, remodel Terminal 3, which is a $683 million project, which is going to employ, yeah, she says she knows it, which is going to employ a lot of electricians, a lot of carpenters, a lot of plumbers, a lot of glazers, so on and so forth. Um, like I said, it's one of the best jobs I've ever had. I get to travel up and down the peninsula. I worked at Facebook. I've worked at the airport. I've worked at many of the high schools around here. And the benefits that, that we have is there's, I never have to fill out another resume. Um, we're an international union. If the work slows down here, I can go to New York and just sign my name on a list, and they know my skill set because they know I went through a five-year apprenticeship program. And I just sign my name, and they call my name, and you want the job, yes or no. Um, that's all throughout the United States, uh, Puerto Rico, Canada, so on and so forth. Um, never have to fill out a resume. And as new technologies come out, we have journeyman upgrade classes. Those classes are free of charge to our, all our individuals. So as new technologies come out, for instance, we have, um, right now in our training center, we have an electro vehicle charger. 
So our, our apprentices are abreast to the new technology of uh, charging stations and so on and so forth for all the electric vehicles that are coming out. Um, back in the day, they didn't have uh, fluorescent lights that you could dim. Now they have dimmable ballast for that. We have, as new technologies come out, we stay, we stay abreast of that and we're always training our electricians so they can be at the forefront of the technology and keep pace. Um, we live in Silicon Valley and we have some of the best individuals, some of the best skilled and trained men and women throughout the nation. And I would just encourage anybody that's interested for this as a time, I'm gonna be quick because I know we're running late and I see people are leaving. Um, but if anybody wants to talk to me about an opportunity in the building trades, I will be out there. I have flyers, I have business cards. I will answer any of your questions. But like I said, 18 years or older, with a high school diploma, a C or better in algebra, and making $100,000 um, is not a problem. I think Chris, I think Chris Murtaugh was being a little, little generous when he said he does like 100 to 160. Because I know, I know electricians right now that make more than doctors. You know, I know some electricians that are making 200, 300, 400 thousand dollars a year with a high school diploma and a C or better in algebra. So, um, like I said, I know it's getting late, so I'm just going to be brief and sweet and quick, and I'm going to let you guys get to Chris. But if you guys have any questions about any any building trades industry, any construction industry, please feel free to ask me anything. I will be outside um, right after this is over. So, thank you for your time and. Um, Pass it on to Chris. Thanks, Steve.